All right, everybody. So now that we've had some opportunities to look at some physical manipulatives we can use with decimals, we're going to flip over to those virtual manipulatives. And I would strongly encourage you to use virtual manipulatives because they're going to deepen students' understanding and they're going to help them, especially when we start doing operations with decimals. They're going to help transfer their learning. So reviewing back, we've already assigned some values here for our manipulatives. Remember, our flat is going to represent the ones place. The base 10 rods are going to represent those tenths plates. And the ones are going to represent the hundreds plates. And in an earlier video, we talked about why that's so important. And you'll see it here in these virtual manipulatives why it's so important to assign these values. So let's get started. Three things we're gonna focus on, comparing decimals, adding decimals, and subtracting decimals. Please make sure you, you stick around because there's some cool stuff that these virtual manipulatives can do that you will not see with the physical manipulative. So first let's say, which is greater? 12 hundredths or six hundredths. We can have our students build. It's really important for them to actually build that so they can see and make those comparisons. Um, obviously, when they have these digital representations, it's going to aid in math talk because they can. it can help them explain their thinking. So we see here, this is point 12 hundredths. And now we're going to build six hundredths. So I'm just going to get these here. So I'll drag out six of my hundredths. Now I can make a comparison, which is greater, which has a bigger value. And I can see that in terms of the size, this is a smaller value. Six hundredths is smaller. So I can start using those fun symbols. 12 hundredths is greater than six hundredths. Okay, we got that down. Check. Let's move on to our next problem, adding decimals. We have one and 31 hundredths plus seven tenths. So I will start with the flats here and I'm going to grab one. And I'm going to grab three tenths. and one hundredths. And I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add seven tenths. So let me grab seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven tenths. We're going to add to one and 31 hundredths, okay? So I don't have any um, other hundredths to add, so I'm gonna add these tenths together. Place them together. And let's count, see how many tenths we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tenths. Watch what happens when I have these ten tenths. Watch this. I can loop them all together. Not quite, I gotta get them all in there because I'm going to regroup these 10 tenths and make them into, that's right, another one. So now I have two ones and one hundredth. Awesome, do you see how magical that is for our kiddos? Kids love this. So now we know the answer when we add one and 31 hundredths plus seven tenths, it's gonna give us two and one Hundreds. We're going to put a zero in the tenths place because we have no tenths here. Okay, we got that. Next, we're going to do our final problem, which is subtracting one and twelve hundredths. We're going to subtract forty-six hundredths. So let's start building here. We're going to start building with one whole, and then we'll build. Oops, we just need one of those. One tenth and two hundredths. Okay. And just like traditional subtraction, now we're going to subtract 46 hundredths from one and 12 hundredths. Okay. So let's start with this six here. We have six hundredths. I know I have two hundredths here. 
So I don't have enough. I don't, I need more. I need more of my hundredths to be able to take away six. Okay. So just like traditional subtraction, you can look to the value to the left and you can borrow. I have this 10, one tenth here. I can break it apart. Now look what happens. Now I have 10 hundredths. So can I now take away six hundredths? Yes, I have enough. So let's start doing that. We'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now I will take away four tenths. Well, it looks like I don't have enough tenths here, but I do have this ones and this, I know that this ones represents 10 tenths. So I can also break this apart. Awesome. Now let's take away four tenths. One, two, three, four. And just like traditional subtraction, what is left over is my answer. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. And one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. Uh oh, looks like I forgot my decimal point. That is going to tell me that, remember, this is a decimal form, represents less than one whole. My answer is 66 hundredths. Wonderful. So we've done comparing, adding, and subtracting decimals. Have fun playing with virtual manipulatives. Thanks so much, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.